Hello everyone and welcome. So in this tutorial I'm just going to be walking you through the installer for the Omniverse AEC experience. It's pretty straightforward but as always I like you to know all the little options and what they do. So let's go ahead and uh, go through the process. So the first thing that we'll want to do is just double click the AEC installer. I happen to have it here on my desktop so I'm just going to go ahead and double click it. Okay so here we are in the installer and there's just a couple things to basically know. Uh, first of all, we have full install and then we have server install. If you want the actual AEC experience, most, most likely you're gonna want the full install. If you are just setting up a server to interact with, then you would use the server install. But we're just gonna stick to the full install since it covers the server install as well, okay? So let's go ahead and hit that full install. And now we get a couple different options. So the first thing it's asking is generally where do we want this stuff to be stored? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at its default, which is uh, C, Program Files, NVIDIA Corporation, and then Omniverse. So this is actually a really good place to go. It's not going to have a whole lot of data in here. So generally speaking, you're not going to you know, use up a whole bunch of uh, storage space for this. So not a big deal. Now, we have a couple other options here. We have the choice to include or not include Omniverse uh, server. So the nucleus is the server. And we also have the view client. So this is the actual AAC experience for all intents and purposes. So we're gonna want that on as well. Now, this, this path is pretty important. So this is where all of the server data gets stored. So in other words, when you put your models up onto the Omniverse, this is where they're going to be located, okay? So if you're running a local local host. So uh, this, this one is going to be kind of important because you really want to make sure that you put it in the correct place. Now, if you do not have Nucleus server installed, you don't have to worry about this. Uh, but if you are going to be using this, the server, then you need to worry about this. So here we have the path, and this is currently pointing to my C drive. Because this has the potential to get it to be a very large data set, uh, I don't want to keep it there. Uh, so instead, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select another location, and I'm going to choose my very fast M2 drive. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into Omniverse Data, which is a folder I already had created, and I'm going to hit OK. This is also important if you're going to be reinstalling your server. In other words, let's say you've run this installer once before and you've selected this location. You're going to want to select that same location again so that you don't you know, start a new server in a different location. Uh, you really want to make sure that the data is always consistent. So this is where you should always point your data to once you've decided on a good location. Okay, that should explain that. Now, down here we have our different plugins. So we have the Revit 2019-2020. We have the Rhino 6, and we have the SketchUp 2019 or 2020. And as you can see, it goes ahead and picks the most recent version of each. Great. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit Install. Okay, so now that the Omniverse AAC has been installed, uh, we get this little finished message, and it basically just tells us that everything has been uh, completed. So let's just go ahead and hit finish. And now Omniverse AEC is installed. 